Hi everyone, this is Linda. Welcome back to my channel. So today guys, I am continuing on with um, demonstrating and testing out some of the Timu art supplies that I have gotten. And today I want to test out some of the paint brushes that I've got. So I have bought several packs and um, I have some fan brushes some basic tack line flat brushes, a few rounds in there. Uh, have this pack with some flats in there. I bought the bamboo brushes to try. Also, these little um, tiny detail brushes. And then I thought I'd try out these brushes. They are actually for nails, but I want to see how well they're going to do with detail. So, um, what I want to do is, I have my paint already, and it's um, acrylic. I have um, Liquitex Basics, and then the orange is regular Heather Body Liquitex, and the very last green is this Nick Pro acrylic paint. I wanted to try a few different brand and some thickness. And then I'm going to use uh, the watercolors from Timu. I want to try them out with these small detail brushes to see how well they're going to work. So I'm going to get started. Um, I have my watercolor paper here, but I'm going to start with the acrylic and we're going to just see how well these brushes perform so you guys can get an idea how well they work okay so I need to move some stuff over so I can get the paper and view alright so I'm going to start with these here um, and in this set I have pulled out just the basic number nine um, flat so we're going to test and see how well this is acrylic um, paper pad so I'm going to get my paintbrush ready um, the bristles feel that they don't have much of a glue on them to keep them uh, shaped but I still wanted to rinse it pretty good so I'm just going in with my Liquitex basics and we're just going to test this paint out or the brush rather <laughs> and we're going to see how well it, it performs so I'm just going to do some test runs just to see okay the brush is rather smooth. It picked up a nice amount of paint. And it's really gliding across that paper with hardly any effort. So that's really nice. So that brush, I really like. So I'm going to clean out that one. And then the next one I want to pull out from here is just one of the round brushes. And we're just going to give it a test run. Okay, and I'm just going to go pull some of this dioxazine purple out. And we're going to test it. doesn't hold a lot amount of paint but for being in Taclon I believe it says synthetic hair Taclon so um, and it's you know it's not a, a real bristle or um, meant to hold a lot of water but it is doing the work that I expected okay 
All right, let's move on. Whoops. Pick that up later. We're going to try this um, damn brush. This is a number 10. Okay. And I don't usually use a lot of number or a, a lot of fan brushes. Um, but I wanted to try, and I know they're good for grasses, so we're going to try that here. I'm just kind of double loading my brush. Okay. See how it spreads and it would do a wonderful job for putting grasses in there's nice wispy grasses okay I'm liking it and these brushes folks they feel really nice also they're not, um, they don't feel cheaply made. They have some weight to them, like not heavy, but they're made well. And the furls are nice and tight. So I really like that. Okay, so let's move on to another brush. And I'm going to move on to this little set. I do have the price on there. It's $1.99. Now these are, um, let me see what they're made out of. It says ideal for watercolor, oil, and acrylic. And it's not telling me what it's made from, but it sure does feel like um, Taclon. So we're going to give it a try. So I'm just going to get it wet. Pull out some paint. The bristles are staying nice and tight. It's keeping their shape. Same way with the others. It kept their shape also. Okay, these are these are nice, guys. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Okay, let's pull up um, some of the heavy body. Very nice. All right. Yes, yeah, so far I am impressed and I am liking these brushes. All right. So they did well. Oops. Very nice. Okay. So let's go to let's go to one of the bamboo brushes. Let me get it ready. So I pulled out this little watercolor set from Tamu. And, excuse me, folks, I have to grab my little water spritzer. And we're just going to spritz to activate those a little bit. And I'm just curious to see. Now, I this is what it looks like after I applied the water. Let's grab a color. Let's go for this red. I'm just kind of curious because these were not very much. Like $1.79 maybe. So let's just see how they're going to perform. Wow. Look at that. Oh, very nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. They stayed together. Very nice. Okay. Nice and uh nice line work. Oh, I really like these. Okay. Very good. So, with these you get some different sizes. So that was the medium. You also get a small and then a, a larger one. So let's try the larger one. And even the um, brush itself, the handle is larger. Yeah, it's just, it's bigger. 
You can see the difference. Okay, let me grab some blue. All right, let's do a line. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now, I believe that you said these were um, like calligraphy. So I don't know. I don't do calligraphy. I'm left-handed, so calligraphy for me is very backwards. So, but I'm just going to do my name. I'm just going to paint my name. And we'll just see just how it does. Yeah. I'm not a very good... I just want to see how the flow went. Of course, it ran out of paint about my end of my third letter there. But, you know, to, to paint line work, and if you like doing botanicals, that worked great. All right, so let's move on to the next little set was this whole set of these little detail brushes one two three and yeah, I think it's six I might be missing another one um, one three one two three zero okay so let's go let's go with the skinniest one and oh my goodness my phone hold on folks that shut that off I apologize guys usually I shut that off right before all right I'm going to use with this brush I'm going to use the um, watercolor just to test it out so let's do that line oh nice it's gonna run out of paint quickly Okay, now I'm going to get a new piece of paper. Alright, they're nice. Alright, let me try the next one. Let's try a little thicker. And, you know, speaking of nice, I really like the paint. The paint is, is nice. Alright. Very nice. So these are nice for like detail. You're doing some detail work. All right, very good. Now I'm curious to see how these little tiny, tiny brushes that they say are for nails. Of course, I haven't used these. And actually, guys, I haven't used any of these brushes until now for this video. So this is my first reaction to these. All right. So let's try just with watercolor. And then I want to go back and do a couple of these brushes that I use just with watercolor back into the acrylic. So let's just see how detailed. So that's with, with the watercolor. So let me go in, pull up some acrylic. Oh, it does perfectly nice detailed work. Oh my goodness. If you want a nice detailed brush, oh my. This is nice for the detail. So these brushes, they don't have any information on those. These were $1.48 for three. And I will link everything below if I can find my links, okay? So you guys can kind of look for them yourself. But that's what they are there. Okay, and you get three different sizes. And if you can see that, there's a really fine, fine tip. Um, the largest one that I used and then there's the medium one. So let, I wanted to go back and try this one in the acrylic paint just to see 
Okay. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Oh, these are nice. Guys, these are nice brushes. For the amount that I paid, they're very nice. Now these here, they're on the skinny side. You know, they, they are really tiny and width-wise. Um, I mean, if you have a, a little uh, trouble holding things, now you might have some trouble with this. But the rest of these are nice and chunky. Uh, not like really chunky, but they they've they're nice. They're nice brushes, and I know you know. Of course, they've got so many more, um, but I just wanted to try a few for you guys to be able to see and judge for yourself. You know, if you like them or not. Um, but if you have any questions, please comment down below. But I am very pleased with these brushes and the way they performed for you guys and I'm looking forward to using these in my art and having fun with them um, and just being an artist so um, I want to thank you guys for watching um, look forward to the next video for the next um, Timu review and um until then you guys have a great day and evening or whatever time you're watching this and please if you're still watching this let me know down below if you are and give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it it helps my channel get out there get seen so other people can um watch and learn and be informed so thank you guys and until next time i'll see you soon bye bye